fans welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival this is your host Zila and we are here today doing the in search for souls lost city scenario episode something past 10 uh, I guess that's 11 there we go episode 11 <laughs> okay um, so last episode I said that we were going to warp out to space, so I did that anyway because we're kind of starting to run into a time crunch. I think uh, Experimental 8 is going to be dropping soon and Iron Man Season 7 is starting to get underway way pretty quick, so I really need to get as much done in this scenario as I can before that happens so I took the liberty of going out and kind of discovering a few more zones places I could warp to from the um, with the with the uh, short range warp capability of the SV so that means I could follow this yellow path here and that's what I did and I just came back and so I was able to reveal what each of these have in the way of of stuff each of these you can see they have uh, different well actually quite a bit similar stuff although that one had Zascosium and some Pentaxin in it <clears throat> which we might have to go back and check out at a later episode uh, but for now I think we just want to go back to Uranus Moon and now that I have I found a cobalt asteroid and I mined it all out and I put it into the constructor here so we have look at that a full stack of ore to smelt um, and another chunk 400 or so so that's that's going to give me you know 2800 cobalt so I think we're going to be good for cobalt so I think we can head back let's take a look at our tanks here fill up everything that full that's already full okay so I think what I should do first before I leave though is I'm going to mark this as come on just want to grab the cobalt. Cobalt, come on. Give me the. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to change this to done. There we go. Now it's done because I mined it out. Oh, must go back in there and set our course. So we're heading back to. Wow, what in the... There is a lot. There is five play fields at Jupiter. Wow. That's pretty cool. Gonna have to go there eventually. Okay, so let's go back to Uranus. We're gonna go back to the Uranus moon. And we'll lock on that target. So it's right down over here. And let's go. Let's get past those asteroids there. Okay, back at Uranus. So let's go back to the moon and find that that awesome little island I think it's over in this stretch of water over here isn't it I think so is it one of those is it one of those no I can't no I can't even remember no I don't think so I think it's uh is it over 
here more? Yeah, I think it's one of these, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it like one of these? Isn't it that like that island down here? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the one that I liked. We'll go check it out. Unless it's, you know, right over top of a... Whoa. And, okay, well there... I thought it was down there somewhere. In amongst here. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be where we set up camp here. Well, more like a permanent base. And, oh, we got critters all over the place now. Huh, that's interesting. Wow, lots of critters. Five, five of them? Hmm. You know what, that's not that big of a deal. That's not that big of a deal. We'll just clean these up really quick here. Although they're probably going to spawn back right away, right? Because I got everything set to hard, fast, respawn. Let's just kill them anyway. Just, wow, I can't, I can't hit a thing. Oh, that guy got pissed. Me out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Should I just get that guy anyway? Oh, I think I got him. Wow, I did. That's pretty epic. Okay, the carnage. The carnage of plant monsters. Might as well loot it. <laughs> as well, right? They got. I got stuff. Sprouts and stuff. Very handy. Spoiled food, that's handy too, actually. Okay, that was good. Um, so I think, what do I want to do? Where do I want to put the core? How do I want to do this? Do I want to, do I want to like dig in, put the core, connect a base, put a ramp out here and then fill in the hole? not a bad idea, right? Do it underwater here somewhere? Like under here? That's really not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to do that. So, let's just level off here. And we don't have to worry about the, the Patrol vessel because we killed it. So I'm just going to spawn the drone. And I'm going to get my radar back anyway, just in case other drones show up. So, where should we do this? We want it underwater. Oh, look at that. There's seaweed down here. Oh my. There is seaweed. Would you look at that? Huh. I haven't seen seaweed in like forever. Okay, that got me all excited. Now I'll, uh, I gotta get my drone back because, you know, I blew my drone. Okay, so let's. I think we can dig in here somewhere. Right here. So we'll 
I'll just dig a hole. Just, uh, I want to get it fairly deep. I'm not really sure if I care which direction I'm facing. We'll see. I'll, I'll take a look really quick before I actually place the starter block. That's quite the hole. Yeah, okay. So let's figure out the direction I'm facing. So right now I'm facing west, due west. That's probably not a bad idea. I think if I, if I line it up with poles like that, at least, uh, I can make it work, yeah. Either between east and west or north and south, as long as I'm facing directly one of the one of the directions, then it should be square for all directions, right? Right. Okay, so let's re-drone it up. Come on. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna pivot. Really? Come on. I'll do a little jump. Did that work? Yeah, I think so. Okay. There we go. See that? He's already, one of them's already respawned. Wow. Okay. There's our hole. Okay, so we need our stuff. I need that. Uh, here, let's way we can, well we might as well just go like this, because might as well, okay. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> We've got our starter block and like a, a whole stack of concrete blocks. So let's go place this. So we're gonna go like this and like you know, push this down and in, down, down. I don't want to go too far down because sometimes you can't see it. Okay. And now I want to connect a base. So I'm gonna hit N and I'm gonna connect a base. I'm gonna hit N again to get rid of that. Now I can actually go out of here and place stuff over here so what I want to try is oh nice that's that's right about the right height too I like that that's good so let's go like this and just like make that as big as possible come on okay there we go <clears throat> okay, there's a landing pad already that we can park on now. Uh, and now that we have a pad of some sort visible, what we can do is we can actually seal this back up. And we can just leave that core buried down there. So the way we can seal this back up is because we have a T2 drill with us, we can do the filler and pull this back over it. See that? That's just super cool. And I can just aim it down and it'll push me up as it fills up. I 
guess I don't need to fill the entire tunnel. I can just seal the top now, now that I've sealed quite a bit of it. I'll just seal off the top, pull all this together. Just keep pulling it together. There we go. And nice. Just get that filled in. Okay. Okay, drones will never even know that I got a core buried there, under the water, under the ground. Yeah, good luck getting that core. Okay, so we can, we can go here now. And we can just park this. So... Level out, and we can just go like this, and like this, and over a bit, and like this, and down, and there we go. We are parked. Excellent. Okay. So, we can just keep laying out this pad. I'm going to keep laying it out here. Um, yeah, we still got a few minutes, so let's do that. Let's do that. Come on. Let's jump out. Come on. Come on. Wait. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so basically I want to... This is going to be my floor level. And the entire thing, um, we're just going to go like right into the mount, like we're just going to dig this entire mountain island, island up here. And we're going to lay down tons of concrete. <laughs> we're going to, yes, we're paving paradise and putting up a parking lot. All right. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my tools again, and I'm going to select my debug and go into the structural integrity. And just get rid of my tools there. So that I'm going to build with my structural integrity tool on that will show me where my base is not touching ground. It's not too, too bad. It's not too, too bad. And yeah, you're going to want to come down onto my base, aren't you, you little squealer? Okay. So I, I don't want to put a whole bunch of blocks down. Uh, I also don't want to dig too too much either, but I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to dig. Let's get that like that, and we'll start clean. Whoops, not filler. We'll get this cleared off. Yeah, I don't have my uh, radar up. Let's tab in, tab out to get my radar back. And we'll uh, get this guy settled in on the base. <laughs> okay. So I'll clear it out. Eventually this island will be gone. It'll just be concrete. <laughs> it's 
just be one big concrete slab. But, uh, yeah, we're getting there. It'll be some work. It'll be some work. I think I want to do the bulk of the grunt work off camera, though, so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to clean this up a bit. Get at least a, a decent pad thrown down. Try and get some square footage going. So what I'm kind of hoping for this base is going to be like a sort of a sort of a modern contemporary concrete high rise look to it. But it's going to be like combat concrete and combat windows and you know, it'll have turrets on it. And it'll be a very unwelcoming high rise. Yeah, I really got right under this thing, didn't I? Nice. See if I can get a nice big chunk put down again here. So I want to get it started like this, and then come all the way. Yeah, come on. Come all the way. Can I get it? Sure, let's do that. Okay. That was a good chunk down. Nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I guess I gotta fill that in too. Okay. So we'll just pull this right down into the into there, and we'll do that one too. Okay, and oh, it's really dark. That's kind of funny how it went so dark. Anyway, okay. Now we can um, now we can keep going on this a little bit. That guy wants to come back down, does he? Now this is where uh, SV with those laser drills would really come in handy right now. Oh, I did hit level 20. <gasps> wow. Hmm. 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 That's very interesting. I might have enough uh, to spawn in a really decent HV. That might be a, not a bad idea, actually. Get this cleaned off anyway. I want I want somewhere to park it first, right? So let's get this base going. So we're cutting into the uh, the elevation a bit now. It's 
going to be a lot of dirt to remove. A lot of dirt to remove. I don't seem to be getting any... Oh yeah, I got crushed stone there. Okay. I'm getting crushed stone. That's fine then. Even if it's just a little bit, it's a, it'll be enough. That's a normal amount. I guess we're wreck wrecking the uh, plant buddy's habitat. Okay. I'll just finish clearing this off and we'll probably call it an episode. So there, there you go. I've got a decent size platform laid out um, not really enough to make a CV but definitely a good start to the base and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand out I'm gonna keep going with this thing and I'll probably end up covering most of the island by all said and done so yeah yeah, so off camera I'll keep digging and keep laying out this base and we'll uh we'll see how far I can get for the next episode. Well guys, if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see when the next episode is, uh subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day. <laughs>